dear students our next topic is measurement of internal resistance of a cell by using potentiometer already we studied measurement of internal resistance of a cell by using voltmeter here measurement of internal resistance of the cell by using potentiometer that means or a potentiometer use panni or a cell oda internal resistance value that is denoted the letter small r so how to find the internal resistance of the cell by using potentiometer here first of all let us consider cd is the 10 meter length of manganese wire so this is a potentiometer wire so we are using manganese or constant wire so cd is the 10 meter length of manganese wire then draw the primary circuit that is consist of one battery then one key just to closing that is the positive end of the battery is connect to the the potentiometer wire of one terminal then key last end is connect to the potentiometer wire of the last terminal that is d see here this is battery this is key k when the battery is on the key is closed that time what happen that time the current is flowing through this circuit see this current is flowing through the circuit is like in series so you know when the when in generally in series circuit the current will be equal so i is equal to same only steady or same or uniform only so when the battery is on the key is closed that time the circuit is series connection so the current is flowing through the this connection is same only then connect our determination of internal resistance of a one cell that is unknown value of internal resistance of the cell so this is a one internal resistance of the cell so their emf is taken as psi here also one internal resistance is there that is or connect negative terminal is connecting to one galvanometer then connect one high resistance then the last term is connecting to the jockey j then the positive terminal of this emf of the cell is connecting to the starting point of potentiometer wire that is manganese wire so this is the schematic diagram of internal resistance of the cell by using potentiometer so is generally you know by using the principle of potentiometer we know that is just adjust the jockey from over the manganese wire when the galvanometer shows zero deflection that time this c and j maintaining same potential that is since ig is equal to zero so this length is taken as l1 so the length is that is the cj is equal to l1 that means cj is equal potential so the emf of the cell is also equal so this cj this emf psi is also equal so already we know according to the principle of potentiometer the total emf of the cell is directly proportional to balancing length so without connecting another one resistance generally so the total balancing length of the cell is that is psi is directly proportional to l1 so here nothing external resistance or connecting that time the total balancing length is 
equal to the the balancing length of the wire so dear students listen very carefully that means general simple chulane na this battery this current is flowing in this this direction so without connecting one external resistance here high resistance is there so here there is no current is flowing from here so this place there is no current is flowing so the current is only flowing this much only so how to find the total emf is this cj when the cj is maintaining same potential that time only they providing this value of psi so the balancing length of the cell is given by the psi is directly proportional to l1 dear students listen very carefully see down part this emf of the cell across connect one known resistance r then again connect one key k2 see this high resistance is always greater than this known resistance that is high resistance only high this external resistance known resistance value is little low so connect one external known resistance r when the key k2 is closed that time the current flowing through the cell is is potential drop across the resistance also having so the current flowing through the cell of em of psi is you know the ohms law that is v is equal to ir so the current i is equal to v by r so generally this v only psi so the instead of v replacing psi divided by r c here number of resistance this is a known resistance this is the internal resistance these two are connected in a series so when this the total resistance is that is psi divided by the total resistance r is equal to the that is i is equal to total emf by total resistance that is total emf is psi there is no change but the resistance the total resistance is this also having only internal resistance that is small r here is capital r so the when the resistance or connected or zero is what is the effective resistance just adding we get r plus r where r is the internal resistance this r is the external known resistance listen this is only when the key k2 is closed the current is flowing through the cell of em of psi current only then similarly the potential difference across r also changing this d2 flow of current the potential drop across r also here dear students this is the current flowing through the cell of em of psi then when the external known resistance is included the potential difference across r due to the this flow of current i so by using ohms law that is v is equal to ir so the potential difference across this capital r that is known resistance due to this passage of that is flow of current so the total current is already you know i so just uh, including the substituting i is equal to instead of psi this r then psi divided by r plus r then psi then r plus r this is the potential difference across r due to this current flowing through the downside part now apply the principle of potentiometer that time the potential difference is also here here so see when the current is entering included the circuit the potential difference across r due to the flow of current so the potential difference that is also different that is a not a emf that is that time v is not equal to psi so 
by apply the principle of potentiometer when the jockey is over a manganing placed over a manganing wire when the galvanometer shows zero deflection that point will noted so that time the total potential difference only directly proportional to the balancing length already balancing length taken as l1 so then second case that is taken as l2 see my dear students this psi is directly proportional to l1 means in the absence of external known resistance that time that is the total emf of the cell is used to the balancing length when this internal sorry when the external known resistance or connecting that time the total emf v that is potential difference also occur this potential difference is occur directly proportional to the balancing length l2 so the value of v is that is psi r divided by r plus r is directly proportional to l2 that is 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 equal to means that is ir is there this also psi is equal to means ir is there this is taken equation number 1 this is taken as equation number 2 then dividing equation 1 and 2 so dividing equation 1 by 2 we get equation 1 is psi is directly proportional to l1 equation 2 is psi r divided by r plus r is directly proportional to l2 psi psi r cancel the remaining is 1 divided by r divided by r plus r this r plus r is goes to numerator that is reciprocal is goes to up we get r plus r by r is equal to this place ir will come i r l1 divided by again downside also i r l2 just to refer the principle of potentiometer that time only <coughs> psi is directly proportional to l1 that is psi is equal to i r l i r i r cancel now we get r by r plus r by r is equal to l1 by l2 that is r which is splitting the term r by r plus r by r is equal to l1 by l2 that is r by r plus 1 is equal to l1 by l2 our aim is to find the total internal resistance of the cell by using potentiometer so r by r is equal to l1 by l2 minus 1 so our aim is to find small r that is small r is equal to capital r into l1 by l2 minus 1 r r is equal to capital r into take lcm that is denominator l2 l1 minus l2 so this is the formula for internal resistance of the cell by using potentiometer then conclusion if the external resistance value is increases that time automatically the internal resistance value also increases this is also one important framework question so dear students study well thank you